Matt and Cindy were the typical newlywed couple. They uh, had an apartment together in the process of buying a new house. Matt was a school teacher. Cindy was a, a rookie realtor. They told me that they really wanted to start Roth IRAs, looking to save for retirement. And at that time, they also told me they were in the process of buying a new house. When we found this house, we walked in, and, and I'm sure this happens to all first-time home buyers. We hadn't even seen the whole house yet, and we looked at each other and said, this is it. We had been looking for about a year. We just fell in love with this house. It was everything we'd ever wanted. I suggested that we really look more doing some comprehensive financial planning. So working together to really figure out where they were today and where they wanted to go in the future. Cindy, through her work, had a short-term disability policy uh, that the company paid for, but she didn't have any long-term disability. We bought the disability policy after she explained the importance of like, a case we get sick or in a car accident or a major medical problem come up that we can pay for our bills. And she delivered the policies to us, went over in detail, and told us what our benefit would be if one of us became ill and couldn't work. We saw the benefit in having the policies, but we really didn't think we were going to use them anytime soon. My wife went to work, and about three, four hours later, I got, I got a call from one of her co-workers, or people she was teaching, that, that she was sick and was uh, taken to the hospital. In the course of that class, she began to feel really not well uh, and kind of figure out something was really wrong. And she wound up having an aneurysm. At the emergency room, I had a stroke. And all of a sudden, she, uh, she couldn't talk anymore. She lost, lost consciousness. And um, they had to rush me out of the room and bring out other doctors in. And then they flew me to Johns Hopkins Bayview in Baltimore, where I met with a neurologist. And he eventually did my surgery that repaired the aneurysm. Initially, her recovery, it took a while. She was out of work for about eight months. Uh, it really took an additional five months of being able to be on partial disability to get back up and running. Uh, and the recovery took a couple of years, it really did. No one knew what Cindy's recovery was going to look like. The mortgage company was very uneasy using Cindy's income uh, towards the purchase of the home. Uh, the disability policy guaranteed payment to age 65 if she was disabled. Uh, so the mortgage company accepted that as a stream of income. And with the amount of the disability policy and Matt's income, they were able to buy their dream home. They were able to hold on to their goals and their dreams. What the disability policy did was allowed me to have an income and not have any financial worries on top of everything else that we were worrying about at the time. When she's laying in the, on, in the hospital bed and, and the doctor comes in and says, you know, we have to perform brain surgery, it kind of puts everything in perspective about stuff you take for granted every day, like walking with her, being with her, talking with her every day. Without the disability insurance uh, that Cindy had, uh, Matt and Cindy's situation might have been a lot different. Uh, there definitely would have been um, some financial pressures on Matt uh, and there probably would have been some debt that followed them through this event. We have a little nickname for her in our extended families. They call her the Fairy Godmother. She went through so much information with us and she had us tell her what we have. You know, what are your assets? And she protected those assets. And we can rest assured that if something happens to one of us, everything will be taken care of for the other. And that, that's pretty good peace of mind. It couldn't be better. I mean, any other words to describe it. You know, my, my wife's with me. I have a, a new baby daughter. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? I couldn't ask for anything else. You know, I have a house, I have a business, and my family, they're everything to me. And I'm just very, very lucky. My life is very full.